Zidane Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. Miraculous Season 4 is just around the corner, so why not talk about another love story? Snow White with the red hair. Now, as of right now, I have watched the first two seasons, which are currently the only seasons of the anime, and um, I have read the first volume of the manga uh, <laughs> oh my gosh this is the f uh, keep in mind that this is the first of my shoujo manga that i have ever owned and i do mean that because yeah this is the first time that i've actually owned a manga that is specifically shoujo beat um, everything else is either shonen jump or it is a Kodansha thing uh, with still being shonen with the Fire Force, Noragami, Slime Reincarnation, and Witch Hat Adelir. Even though they're not technically, uh, not all of them are act would actually be considered shonen, it's, they're still basically shonen. But this is the first shoujo manga that I've actually owned. It is not the first shoujo anime that I've watched, but it is the first sho uh, shoujo manga that I've read. Um, this manga is honestly a great series. And I do love the love story between Shiryuki and Zen. Mm -hmm. It truly does show that these two characters do care about each other. And the thing is that even though they truly do love each other, it doesn't hit you over the head with the love story. These characters work to be who they are. They're their own person, first and foremost, and then they get into their relationship. The main focus of the first seasons, and as well as the... Um, most of the manga, uh, well, most of the uh, the entire anime and most of the manga is the fact that Shiryuki is trying to become a court herbalist and Zen is the crown prince. And it's honestly a very interesting thing. Shiryuki refuses to let Zen take care of her in any way except for to get her away from Tanbarun, which is her home place, where she, uh, her home country, where she would have, if he hadn't saved her, been forced to be the concubine of the crown prince. So that's about as far as it goes with Shiryuki, um, letting Zen save her. There are a few moments later on that where she does get saved multiple times by him, but the but the primary focus is that she does her own thing and she has saved Zen as well as many other people more than he has saved her. So yeah, it's honestly an amazing series. Um, I want to go more in depth with it. Um, but I also want people to actually read this and watch this. So I'm not going to go into full detail about every single little thing. But the point is, like I said, that Shiryuki wants to be an herbalist. And she wants to basically study medicine and make sure that people are safe. She wants to take care of the entire country, basically. Or rather, the entire world, which is an honestly really great thing to think about. And Zen, even though, uh, since he's not the crown prince, eventually he can actually spend his life with Shiryuki once his brother becomes king and has his own sons. Um, which is honestly a fantastic little bit of information. Um, but there, an interesting thing to actually think about is that on, in the first volume, there is actually a, another um, one-off 
written by the actual uh, by the creator, um, Sorota Akiduki, um, about a girl um, spending her summer with her friends and falling in love with another person, uh, uh, with uh, with a boy named Natsu. Well, not actually not. That's not his actual name. But the point is that that's the name that she gives him. Um, and <laughs> she actually takes on the name Aki. Um, it's, <laughs> it's really interesting. Um, but the interesting thing about that story is that the boy that the main character of that little story falls in love with is a colorblind boy who, um, only spends his summers uh, in the city where they're uh, where they meet and it's honestly a really just cute little love story that doesn't need to go too much further but honestly if this ever was made into uh, another sort uh, story um, a full-length story then I absolutely would read it because it is adorable and awesome uh, but honestly considering the way that it ends in the one-off I doubt that it's gonna go any further it might get like a OVA or something but that's about it um, but yeah uh, that's called the colorful seasons of August and yeah it's really a really cute story and it really does make you think that you're seeing the world through the color uh, through Natsu's eyes through this story uh mostly because of the fact that well manga are in black and white so yeah um unfortunately there's not much else to say about that about this whole thing um except that i do like that in each story uh, in each chapter or whatever um the author decided to put these little notes in one of the uh margins of each chapter where she basically gives a little bit of a description about what's going on in the chapter and it's honestly a really good indicator of what is going on in the mind of this author now the last thing that you probably are wondering is why is it called snow white with the red hair especially if well plain and simple her name isn't Snow White, there's nothing that really hints at it, and yeah, um, but apparently the creator, uh, Sorta, um, wanted to make a fairy tale story about Snow White, um, but when she was writing the story, she eventually found out, uh, she decided that she wanted to, um, change almost the entire thing to eventually making it go to the point where the only thing that connects it is that there is a prince there's a poison apple and the first moments of the scene of the series um a character says mirror mirror on the wall and that's it the poisoned apple a prince and mirror mirror on the wall that's it and it's honestly just the most ridiculous thing to really think about that this is the name of this series and it has nothing to do with the story of Snow White. Honestly, though, it's fine and it is honestly a good series. If you are someone who enjoys love st stories like uh, I like Miraculous um, or really a lot of different series, then this might be a good series to pick up. Uh, what I would suggest is either checking out the anime, which I've, which I for one watched it on Hulu. So if you have Hulu, then that's probably a good spot to watch. And other, uh, otherwise pick up the manga because seriously, the manga is a fantastic read. And considering the fact that I'm pretty sure that the actual anime isn't going to continue, I'm not 100% certain, but uh, yeah, sometimes manga just, dec they just decide, yeah, the manga is not, or the anime is not going to continue. You can just read the manga. 
i.e. what happened with Devil as a Part-Timer. Except that it was a light novel first. <laughs> but that's another, that's a story for another day. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of Snow White with the Red Hair. And also, let me know some other series that you think I should start reading and should do other show it some loves for. There's going to be a few more of these over the next few days. Um, mostly because, well, there's a lot of shows and with current times, you're going to want to watch some new stuff. But anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've been Electric Ninja. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Leave your comments and theories down in the comments below. If you have a theory, make sure to use the hashtag theory review in your comment. And of course, if you are new, subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you want to support the channel even more, then definitely head down to the description and check out all the links down there. But anyways, guys, I've been Electric Ninja, and I'll see you guys next time. But on!